The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory you, O Lord. The disciples approached Jesus and said, Who is the greatest in the kingdom of heaven? He called a child over, placed it in their midst, and said, Amen, I say to you, unless you turn and become like children, you will not enter the kingdom of heaven. Whoever humbles becomes humble like this child is the greatest in the kingdom of heaven. And whoever receives one child such as this in my name receives me. See that you do not despise one of these little ones. For I say to you that their angels in heaven always look upon the face of my heavenly Father. What is your opinion? If a man has a hundred sheep and one of them goes astray, will he not leave the ninety-nine in the hills and go in search of the stray? And when he finds it, amen, I say to you, he rejoices more over it than over the ninety-nine that did not stray. In just the same way, it is not the will of your heavenly Father that one of these little ones be lost. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to the Lord, Lord Jesus Christ. Good morning. Good morning. And just a reminder, our CIA will be starting at the end of this month. And then uh, in September, we will have our adult formation classes on Monday nights, Symbol on the Catholic Faith Explained. Hope everyone can come and join us. And if you have some family members or friends who would like to know more about the Catholic Church, have an opportunity to come and worship with us. Have that wonderful opportunity to take Eucharist, the body, blood, soul, and divinity of Jesus Christ. We would love to have them come and join us. So today's readings are interesting. We have a reading in Ezekiel. And Ezekiel is beginning his, his ministry. And the word of God is with him. And literally, the word of God is in him. And he goes out to speak. And it, it kind of begs the question of how much time do we spend with the word of God? How often during the course of our, our day, our week, our month, our year, do we look upon the words of scripture for guidance, for strength? See, just like Ezekiel, the words of God need to become internalized in us. It needs to be part of who we are. So I ask you to consider taking some time on a daily basis to break open the Gospels, the Bible. Spend some time with the Word and let it become part of you. And of course, if you continue in your reading, you will come to our Gospel reading today. And there's really kind of two different modes that Jesus is operating with in this, in this reading today. The first is he's dealing with the humanity of his disciples. He had kind of puffed up Peter a little bit and his disciples were like, okay, so who's the best? Who's, gonna, who's the best in the kingdom? Because they're seeing it from a human standpoint. They're seeing it from an earthly standpoint. And Jesus is letting them know very clearly that it's about the one who humbles himself before God. The one who knows how small we truly are. And think about the immensity of, of God and us. I mean, it's not even in the same realm. Yet, we take pride in what we do. We glorify our efforts. And so Jesus is letting them know that it's about being humble. It's about being willing to take those low positions. And that's why he brings a child in their midst. Now we have slightly different ideas about children in our world, but 
in Jesus' world, children weren't much more than glorified pets. They were not, they had no status whatsoever. They were basically almost like property. And so that's what he brings, that's why he brings a child in there. Someone who has no status. And that's what he's telling us we must be like. We must be like that child. We must be humble before God. And then we have the story about the lost sheep. And Jesus is telling us that if we, look, we are lost, we will be found. He is seeking us always. He's always looking for us. At no point in our life does God ever abandon us. It is only we. And think about it. There's these hundred sheep and they're taken care of and they're content and they're loved. And then the other sheep just leaves. He just takes off. Why? He loses focus on the shepherd. He loses focus on what is making him safe. He thinks that he, the world is better. And so he goes off. And it's like some of our friends and family and children, they take off. They seek other things. And we pray for them to come back to the faith. We pray for them to come back to the church. And we always know that Jesus is there for us. He is always searching us out. He's always looking to bring us home. And when he does, it's with great joy. So as we continue to ponder these, these readings for today, take time to break open the word. Allow it to be part of you. Let it show you the glory of God. If you glorify God, you will automatically humble yourself. And in humbling yourself, you'll be what Jesus asked us to be. To serve his will. To allow ourselves to be used by him throughout the world. And by doing that, we will be what God calls us to be. We'll be the Christians that he wants us to be. We will attract more people to our faith. And then we will have this huge flock that goes around the world as it does today and continues to grow and continues to be the light because it is by being the light of the world that we will bring more people to Christ, more people to salvation, more people to